Good afternoon. I'm Abby reporting for WCLO News. Welcome to our first ever staff versus students kickball game. The stakes are high and the tension has been building all week. Let's go look. Hey everybody out there in TV land. This is the first ever kids vs. grown ups kickball game here at historic Wheeler Park, home of your Culver Cougars. I tell you, it's going to be a close matchup today. I'm not sure who's going to win. A lot of kids are, in the school are saying the kids are going to win. A lot of people are going to say the grown-ups are going to win. But the only way to solve it is down there on the kickball field today. It was tied with the staff winning a game and the students winning a game. See you next time at WCLO News. Thanks for watching. Simons. And I'm Carly Simons and we're from Sage Park Middle School. And today we're going to be talking about Unified Sports. Unified Sports is disability kids and regular students that play sports together. And they have practices mostly every Monday and then they have tournaments. The teammates play fair and they understand how to play the game and we usually play mixed basketball and soccer and then we play a game either basketball or soccer. My name is Corey and I will be talking to you about Woodshop at Sage Park Middle School. The teacher there is named Mr. Gallo. He's a really good teacher. He's really funny and nice. And when we were in Woodshop we made first we made these boxes to represent structures and um, we want to make them with sand the most weight possible. Next, we made um, a catapult that actually works. And finally, we made these model playgrounds that turned out pretty good. Hi, I'm Yvelise Garcia and I go to Sage Park and my favorite subject is history. I have Mr. Shea and his class is really interesting. He kind of just lectures us 
the whole class instead of giving us piles of worksheets and somehow it just sticks. Right now we're learning about the 13 colonies fighting for freedom and the Boston Massacre and the stuff around that era and it's really interesting. Today is Veterans Day at Windsor High School. We celebrate the contributions of all those people who have been willing to commit their lives and their service to protecting our country. Those representatives of the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, Coast Guard, Merchant Marine, we appreciate the contributions that they've made in order to protect our way of life here in the United States. It's a day that we cherish. It's a day that's very important that we recognize and appreciate. Military service is the ultimate form of community service and we appreciate that here at Windsor High School. So let's all celebrate it. If you know a veteran, thank them, uh, and certainly make them feel appreciated for making that contribution on the behalf of all of us. Good afternoon. My name is Sergeant Christopher McKee. And I am Officer Morrow, your school resource officer. We are both members of the Windsor Police Department as well as veterans of the United States Army. Veterans Day has been celebrated in the United States on November 11th, ever since President Woodrow Wilson declared it Armistice Day in 1919. Today's holiday serves to recognize and remember the brave and proud citizens that have served or are serving in a branch of the United States Armed Forces. Among these women and men who have answered the call for selfless service in the military, both here and overseas, in foreign countries, includes many of the teachers, faculty, and staff who you see around you at Windsor High every day. Among these men and women who have sacrificed the comfort and safety of their everyday lives here in our community are family members of yours, brothers, sisters, cousins, mothers, fathers, grandparents, and uncles and aunts. Among these win women and men who have sacrificed time away from their loved ones, their spouse, and their children are people such as the 12 men and women officers of the Windsor Police Department who have served in every branch of the armed forces, including your very own school resource officer, Officer Amaro, who deployed overseas and served in the armed conflict in Afghanistan. Take a minute to look around your classroom right now because some of you and some of those sitting next to you may be the veterans of tomorrow. When you return to your first high school reunion years from now, you'll learn which of your classmates sacrificed themselves to be something bigger than oneself. So on behalf of the women and men of the Windsor Police Department serving you and the community of Windsor, we extend our heartfelt gratitude to all those who serve and have served in the uniforms of our country's armed forces, those past, those presently serving away from their families and loved ones, and those of you who will serve in the future. Selflessness, dedicated service, and sacrifice are not values only displayed by these veterans whom we are so proud of and who fight for us so we may remain free. They are words for all of us to apply in our daily lives. As President John F. Kennedy once stated on Veterans Day, As we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. So on behalf of myself, Officer Morrow, and the Windsor Police Department, Happy, Happy Veterans, Veterans Day. Day.
I am Matthew Brown and this is Cambodia by James Fenton. One man shall smile one day and say goodbye. Two shall be left, two shall be left to die. One man shall give his best advice. Three men shall pay the price. One man shall live, live to regret. Four men shall meet the debt. One man shall wake from terror to his bed. Five men shall be dead. One man to five, a million men to one, and still they die, and still the war goes on. Hello, I'm Gabrielle. And I'm Samir. And we're from Windsor High and we're in 10th grade. This is from how to, talk to, uh, how to Talk to Veterans About War by Westmore. I joined the Army because college is expensive and it was what I knew. I thought about all the people I respected and they admired and they all wore the uniform of the United States. For so many of us, when we come home, the war isn't over. It keeps playing over in our minds. Please forgive us if we don't like being in crowds. Please forgive us if we go through a week of light discipline where we cannot use white lights because they can be seen from afar. So we have to use little blue or little green lights so we won't be seen. 
Please forgive us if we go for a week of light discipline to Times Square and have a difficult time adjusting to that. It's not easy to come back and have a sense of normality because the whole idea of normal has changed. I remember I wanted people to ask me what my experience was, what happened, what the food was like, and what the battle was like. And the only question I got was, did you shoot anyone? And the default is just to say nothing. The problem with that is that it feels like your service is never acknowledged. We have 2.6 million veterans of Iraq and Afghanistan in this country. Sometimes we know who they are and sometimes we don't. But there is that shared experience. When you meet veterans in uniforms, you shake their hands and you look for a combat patch on their shoulder. What does thank you for your service mean? Access stories, access who we are, acknowledge that our service means so much. There's still a tremendous amount that can be offered or given. People like Tammy Duckworth, she barely survives combat after she lost both legs. As she is recuperating back home, she thinks that, she, that there still is work to be done. So she now uses her voice to advocate for veterans as a congresswoman from Illinois. We signed up because we love this country. We believe in the people to our left or right. These are the people I served with and these are the people I honor. So thank you for your service. Good morning, I'm Assistant yeah. Superintendent Terrell Hill and I just want to say Happy Veterans Day to all of our veterans. As a U.S. Army veteran myself, having been stationed in Frankfurt, West Germany for three years, I feel that my time in the military was some of the greatest years of my life. I was honored to represent my country and honored to have the opportunity to defend my country at any moment. I think all veterans in this country should be honored every single day, but today especially is their day, and again, I salute each and every one of you. I'm Asia Williams, a 10th grader at Windsor High School. This is from Store Allsop's 1970 essay on the draft during the Vietnam War. After all, what sensible young man wants to spend two years of his life being shouted at or shot at? The young men who do end up getting shouted at or shot at are very different sort from the college radicals. Their faces appeared in 11 heart-rending pages of pictures in Life magazine last year. The pictures with names and hometowns were of 242 men who had been killed in Vietnam in one week. It was only necessary to look at these young men peering innocently out from beyond the grave what kind of young men they were. They were not the kind of young men to whom it would have occurred to get a teaching job or to go to divinity school in order to avoid the draft. The great majority of them were obviously fresh out of high school or off the farm or the production line. Most of them came from small towns like Lafarge, Wisconsin, or Nickerson, Nebraska, or Morganton, North Carolina, or Pequannock, Connecticut. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service, Ms. Lisa. Thank you. On behalf of the Young Men's Leadership Academy, the Leadership Council, I would like to say thank you to our veterans for serving our country. You guys are true heroes. Thanks for serving and protecting us. And we love you guys and everything you've done. Happy, Happy Veterans Day. Day. Happy Veterans Day. Happy Veterans Day. Thank you for your service. I'd like to wish all of our men and women in our strong services a happy Veterans Day. Thank you very much for protecting me and my rights and everyone else in the United States. Happy Veterans Day. To all the veterans out there, thank you for your service. Happy Veterans Day! Thank you for your service.